Romans chapter 6, we're going to look at verses 20 through 23 to get to what our memory verse, of, verse was, which is for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life from Jesus Christ our Lord. We're going to back up and pick up a couple verses before it. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. Therefore, what benefit were you then deriving from the things of which you are now ashamed? For the outcome of those things is death. Now, having been freed from sin and enslaved to God, you derive your benefit, resulting in sanctification and the outcome, eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. As briefly as possible, here we go. Paul, in the sixth chapter of Romans, expresses that all of humanity is slaves to one of two things. We're either slaves to sin or slaves to God's righteousness. Those are our choices. At no point do you get the option to be a slave to anything else. We are not, of our own free will, free citizens in this universe that get to bop around and do whatever we'd like to do. Nor are we senators who get to advise the emperor of the universe about what he's going to do, nor are we the senators that get to advise the emperor, which is sin, what sin is going to do for us. We're either slaves to sin... Or we're slaves to righteousness. Now here's, the, here's the, the thing. Sin uses its slaves to destroy them and to get what it wants. It doesn't do anything for their own benefit. That's what he talks about. What benefit did you derive from the things that you did that you're now ashamed of? Sin provides no benefit that we're able to look back and say, Man, I'm glad I did that. The only joy that the sin that we look back in our lives and, and see brings us is the joy of knowing that God's grace was enough to overcome us. If at any point we look back at a sin and say, you know, that was a sin and it was terrible and it was an offense against God, but I still think it was a great idea, that's an area in which we have not reached maturity in our understanding as a disciple of Christ. We may see where our sin helped us grow. We may see where our sin helped us to learn God's grace and learn to walk away from it. We may even see how God uses that sin in our past to help us serve His glory now and minister to others. But to look back and say, man, that's a great sin. Shows a lack of maturity on our part. We're either slaves to sin, which wants to destroy us, or we're slaves to God's righteousness. But the thing about it is this. The sin earns us death. The wages the slave got paid, he could use to pay off the debts that got him enslaved in the first place. He could use to buy his freedom, buy the freedom of his family. But all that a slave of sin earns is death. That's all you get. A slave to righteousness, a slave to God's love. Doesn't even worry about what he earns because he's not going to earn enough. Instead, the benefit is his sanctification. A sanctified life is one which, as it's lived out in the world, points people not to the sanctified person, but to the one that they serve. The goal in our slavery is not that we point people to us and how amazing we are, but we point them, point them to God who made us that way. And the end result is the free gift of God, which is eternal life, not something that we could earn, not something that we could do, not something that we could deserve, something that he says, this is yours for free. because we work for Him. We're free from sin. We don't have to. We may choose to, but we don't have to. We are enslaved to God. Our benefit, our gift, our wages, all comes from Him. So when you get up in the morning, don't get up and think, well, I'm not sure which I'm going to do today. Well, I'm not sure if I want to be more worldly or be more godly today. Get up in the morning and say, I've enslaved to God's righteousness and I'm going to walk in it. Because that's the only place that there is any benefit. And that benefit that I'll earn is not for me, it's for the people around me who will see God clearly. Because I've already received the free gift of God, which is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to be here in this place. Lord, we pray that you'll help us to walk well with Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen.